Hey guys, so I wanted to mention in this small little video what you need to do when you first get the uh, plugin. You get it, you install it to the engine, you go to your plugins, you activate it, and you restart. And after you do that, you need to go to your edit, project settings, gameplay tags, and in here, it will be like this, or you might have other ones, but in gameplay tag table list, you have to add this so the demo will work as expected. Otherwise, if you don't, there will be no tags. The demo will not will have no idea how to work. So adding this is important. And one last little thing. This is a miss on my part. So if you go to distance and rotation matching any modifier, you open it up, you will most likely, uh, not most likely, I'm sure that you will have this like this. What did I do? So you will have this as frame time. This is not correct. This is a mistake on my part. I will update it the next update. Right now, you just have to delete frame time and you just add a name frame number in there instead. Now, these are the small little things that you gotta do before you do anything else, and then you could just uh, you could just check out the documentation, uh, see what you need to do uh, to make it uh, to explain it as simple as possible. You have animations. You take those animations. You have animation modifiers that I provide to you that will create your distance for starts and stops for pre-pivot, post-pivot, your, your rotation for turn in place, rotate for starting ro uh, rotating starts, rotating pivots, and you just put them inside of this, each in its place, idle, like the names are very self-explanatory, standing, they are very simple, leans, if you don't have a lean, just take your normal animation, duplicate it and turn it like I did here just go to the root turn it to the right you have one lean turn to the left you have another lean pretty simple and that's uh, that's all I wanted to say that is not in the documentation uh, pivots like I said you take your pivots animation let's see I have here some pivot animation let's look here animation with motion all animations need to have with motions of like I said in the documentations turn right so uh, run forward turn so here's a run forward turn if I go here apply I will have a distance curve and I will look for the first value that is a zero and I'm gonna delete from that from this value right here You can see this is the first zero from the first zero before it's pre pivot, after it is post pivot. You just delete them and you go to your pivot and you fill them in. Like rotating pivots, clockwise meaning to the right, right up and left up. If you don't have them, you just fill them with the fill the right up and then copy and paste it. It's that simple. Clockwise meaning to the right, and then counterclockwise to the left. They both 180 in rotating in pivots. Same for strafe. Uh, after you cut them, you go to each one of them, you revert and reapply the distance matching. And that's it. That's all I wanted to. Uh, the start. Uh, if you don't have this distance matching is cool, you need uh, at the grounded. You need this curve right here. This is not optional. It needs to be zero when your foot is supposed to be on the ground. If you come and look at this guy, right? You can see his tippy toes are still supposed to be touching the ground. I mean, he's going down, all right, but 
He's supposed to be touching the ground. So if you... The moment that that's, that he starts to go up, actually starts to go up like his pelvis, then that's when it starts to going to one. And uh, don't make it too long. Like I, I have it here from from here until when it's fully one in a 0.1 second. So you can get that nice jump in there. You don't want it to be too slow when it blends out. And that's pretty much it. This is the stuff that I wanted to cover in this small little video. Spin, not necessary if you don't have it. And starts and stops, like I said. Simple distance matching. Just put the animation modifier in there and it will do everything for you. Also mentioned in the documentation, I want to re-mention it again. You need to add manually the disable speed warping curve, which is the first step curve. Like this is when his leg, as you can see, both of his legs are still on the ground. This is when one of his legs starts to move. And this is when it touched the ground. So started to move, touched the ground. So from this point to this point, that's the first step. That's what first step curve is. Pretty simple. You need this in all your starts, whether it's strafing or rot uh, wait, in rotating, you don't need them. You don't need this in rotating. You just need them in strafing, and you need them in your post-pivot, strafing post-pivots. That's all. You need them in start and post-pivots, in strafing ones. As you can see, the none of the pivots is mandatory now. Whether you have a pivot or not is ma is not mandatory. But in a in a different video, I will show you how to use this. Uh, if I go here and here, animation blueprint pivot editor. I'll show you how to use the pivot editor to make some decent strafe pivot animations. All right, that's it. Thank you guys for waiting so much. I want to sincerely, sincerely thank my Patreons because I would not have been able to spend this much time on this. And this is just the beginning. Like The, the predictive IK that I'm working on right now is going to be way, way better than any IK system that you had your hands on. I promise you that. And this will be added with the Unreal Engine 5 launch, hopefully where I would upgrade the system to use all the cool new tricks and stuff in the UE5. And, uh, yeah, uh, everything that is coming, I am going to do a UE5 specifically, an Unreal Engine 5 animation system, like a tutorial series kind of, where I would show you all the new cool stuff in the UE5 and how to utilize them, how to use them, how to make a little bit of... It's going to be uh, between uh, intermediate and beginners, where I would get beginners. I'll try to get a beginner up to intermediate level or maybe a little bit higher. So I will go slowly in this, but uh, I hope that you guys are interested in this. If you, if all, any of my Patreons is interested in a, a tutorial videos or whatever, I, I am more than happy to put a vote if you guys want something, I'll put a vote on it and I'll make it happen. Anyways, I hope the system works as expected. If you find any bugs or anything like that, please join the Discord. Please let me know. I will try to fix them as soon as possible. I will try to have my updates as frequent as possible without changing anything that is too basic that can break any project. Until we go to UE5. Alright. Thank you guys so much and have a great one. Uh, an er early merry, mer oh, God damn it! <laughs> an early merry Christmas. Goodbye.